Hey, hey, Tony Gas is here. Now, a lot of y'all sent me this uh, clip about, uh, my wife even sent it to me, the clip about uh, Simone Biles' husband. And I don't know his name. Um, Jonathan Daniels or something to the effect. And I believe he played in the NFL. He's in the NFL or playing in the NFL. The the video I seen of him on the podcast, the pivot. I've that's not the same guy that I thought I've seen in the past. Like in the past, I thought her husband. I seen her husband before, and I thought he had like long curly hair. Like he had like I thought that was her husband who had like kind of curly hair and was doing black backflips himself like on the football field or something and he was kind of muscular and to be quite honest when i first seen the guy i thought he was a little well that's a derogatory word i thought he was um well what word for it well the word i was going to use is sweet but i don't know if sweet is derogatory it's kind of how he looked it. But then on the pivot, now he kind of got his rapper braid. He's got his rapper plaits. And here's what I'm trying to tell y'all about looks compatibility. The thing about it is when when a man is a in looks compatibility and in dating, men are always able to get someone. Let's say if you're on a scale of one to ten in looks. 10 is the the highest, the best. One is the worst. Based on your features, as it relates to societal constructs. So the beauty constructs in society are set by the movies, the magazines, the media. That's what we're talking about, right? So what we have to realize is these things is set y'all got to forgive me because me and the boys we we rolled out the bed and came to training 16 year old is training and uh so forgive me looking a little rough but these things are set by the movies and the media well if you see a man or a woman who has symmetrical features like for the most part they features pretty even the features pretty even and then if they have something that's unique. So it looked like to me in the video, it looked like he had like lighter brown eyes. Well, that's not a common color eye color for a black person. Although it does happen, it's not as common. Like, and just kind of look around and you'll see that. Typically when it happens, it happens from some type of uh, cultural mix. At example, and I say this, and, and then people in Africa be, who live over there, be trying to talk about the exceptions to the rule. But it's like, if you see a, let's say you see a, a Nigerian who is darker skinned, how many darker skinned Nigerians, Ghanaians, Ugandans do you see with green eyes or hazel eyes or gray eyes, whatever they'll call it? It's not as common. A lot of times when you see a lighter color eye on a black person, if you look in, in their genealogy, you will see that there is some type of, it might be some French or it might be some, you know, Caucasian or something in there. And then because that blue eye color, because blue or lighter brown may come from this one culture then the other culture culture may have dark brown eyes that mix blue plus brown it turns into something else and so this how this how you gotta evaluate this stuff when you think about looks compatibility and this is why i try to tell y'all this is what i do it, it's a science for me so when i just be on here talking i ain't on here talking like other relationship commentators I really study it and this is a, a science and and that's why I have coined the term looks compatibility so Simone Biles and 
her husband are not looks compatible. The reason being is because a muscular black man with symmetrical features and light eyes who makes hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars can have any human being, any woman on the planet. And that is why he answered that question that way. He also told a real story because his wife was sitting right next to him smiling. She was embarrassed because she didn't want that to come out. He shouldn't have told it like that. And he should have bit the bullet and and been man enough to cover her for her insecurity. Now, one thing that I know from growing up in the world is that a lot of athletes, male and female, are sexually promiscuous. Athletes who are not sexually promiscuous, um, they would be considered an exception to the rule. But everybody knows working out increases your libido. And your libido is what drives your sexual desire. So most athletes, once they are introduced to that, they become overly active. Now, it doesn't mean that Simone Biles was that way, but she probably have a lot of estrogen or whatever it is, testosterone running around. And he said he swiped on her swiped up or whatever on her on the app which i've heard of that app before a long time ago and i think it's for more higher net worth people because i think it costs like 200 dollars a month when i was first told about it and he swiped on her and then she went to liking his pictures and then she wrote him hey now that's thirsty and desperate for a for a woman that is thirsty and desperate and this is what i try to tell y'all all the time a man should always pursue the woman. So he swiped up on her, but he know they not looks compatible. And I know this is this is women not you're not gonna understand this, but just trust me on this. They not looks compatible. Okay. A, a a guy who has everything that he has in his life and all of that features or whatever that are symmetrical. He literally could have any woman. And so that's why. But his wife is much bigger than him and is a brand. And she makes way more money than him. So he is insecure. And he does not like that. He also exhibited some red flags right there in the little clip that I seen because he said he always says the man is the prize. That's toxic. And for him to say that publicly lets me know that she may go through verbal and emotional abuse privately, meaning just really being disrespected. She want to be married. She don't want to be one of these women that's an athlete that never gets married, that don't have kids. Now, because she may see this video, I don't want to really explain and describe why they're not looks compatible. Because the, the truth, uh, a lot of women ask for the truth, but the truth is, is a little too real. And it's just a little too real. And so it's not that she's unattractive. She's not unattractive. Like, she, she is... A cute young lady but you have to understand the grand scope of women and you have to understand also society and media you got to understand the marketing of the media you, you know basically the marketing of the beast and when you understand these things then you'll understand like there's a big difference between the way we see JLo like Jennifer Lopez or the way you see um, Halle Berry or Eva Mendez or Sanaa Lathan. Why? Because this is what's pushed. This was promoted. Notice that 
when you think about the media, you really can't think of a, they don't really promote brown skinned women, which is sad. But this is the reality of it. And this is what I try to tell you. I explain it, but I'm not excusing it. I'm explaining it to you so you understand what you are part of. When you see brown skinned women, you, our promotion of that in the media is Viola Davis, um, Angela Bassett. And those looks are not praised as much as um, Halle Berry was or what's the lady name? Angelina Jolie. Um, Eva Mendez, Salma Hayek. Now, these other women and then even the imagery. So, like, look at the roles they give to Raji P. Henson. You know, she's a beautiful lady. Uh, Nia Long, you know, she's brown skin. She's a beautiful lady. But Nia Long didn't get that big. She never got as big as Viola Davis. So it's like when they promote a certain look, then they they tight cast them. So this goes into what people don't realize is this is how men are programmed. Now, women are programmed as well, but women more often break the programming, but not really. Women break the programming because men are providers. So what you have, what just showed, what was shown with the guy, um, Simone Biles' husband is what I call him because I, I, his name's slipping me. I think it was Jonathan, or Jonathan Owens or um, Benjamin Owens or something. But I don't have a clue who he is in the sense of I watch a little bit of football. Yeah, I got a suite at the stadium i played football in college but when you grown and you busy you i on the level that i am i don't have time to sit down and watch a game for three hours when i turn the game on i'm doing something on my laptop too i'm not finna sit and watch another man for three hours unless i'm physically at the game and even then i'm doing something on my phone but so i don't know who who the gentleman is but i know simone biles and i kind of know simone biles because my wife is big into the olympics but who isn't into the Olympics? And, and he said he didn't know who she was, which I find that very hard to believe. But that's the same thing that gold digging women be saying when they meet a celebrity man. Now, the reason why he got with her is because of her brand. He's not going to get with her because I want you to think about every athlete that you could think about. Which one of the athletes who meet a woman? while they are a pro got a woman that's Simone Biles height first of all got a woman that is Simone Biles complexion and Simone Biles features which one there isn't there isn't one because of societal programming he would never pick a woman who looked like Simone Biles and I'm not saying she looked bad but what I'm saying is what is promoted what is what do you see promoted racially ambiguous long black hair long flowing hair um, racially ambiguous meaning they could look Asian black black and white Hispanic and black Hispanic and white it's not like a clear race that you can just easily tell when these guys pick a woman when they in the league. No, and then no guy picks a woman that's under five feet tall. No guy picks a woman. I remember I was coaching a very beautiful woman who was five foot three. And I was doing matchmaking for her. And I reached out to one of my clients who unfortunately he was six foot ten in the NBA. And he said she's too short. And I told her that and she was offended. She was appalled. She was like, I have never heard that before in my life. I've dated guys that are that tall. I've never once heard that. I say, hey, men have preferences too. So he say you too short. Now, 4'11", that's what Simone Biles is. She like 4'11", I think. Now, that's just unheard of. It's just unheard of. But because she's a millionaire 
and because she globally recognized, he talking about I knew she was somebody because she had. It's like, boy, you watch ESPN. You not finna watch ESPN a single day in your life. You an athlete. You watch ESPN. You not finna watch ESPN and not see Simone Biles. Come on, bro. Come on now. That's disrespectful. That's disrespectful. That's real disrespectful. But this is the thing. He knows why he got with her. He know it. Yeah, she. Yeah, she's a great person. Yeah, I could tell she have a beautiful spirit. Everybody had their little quirks, but I could tell she got a beautiful spirit. I could tell she just is a whole vibe. Like she just is a lot of fun, a ball of energy. That's when you flip around like that. I I could tell she's a lot of fun. But the thing about it is, the other lesson is this is what can happen when you get beyond looks. So she is what you would call cute. What I mean by cute is like it's hard to be anything other than cute at four eleven because four foot eleven is like my nine year old son, and so this is what you have to realize that that is seen as cute. A man never gonna describe that as like gorgeous or what have you. And to the ladies, get out y'all feelings. I'm trying to explain something to you now. Y'all tell me on here to be real. Then when I be real, you be in the comments complaining. So listen. Listen to me. I'm, I'm breaking it down the male psychology so you understand this. And so this gentleman got with Simone Biles. Now, Simone Biles, because of her now, because of her like natural look, meaning being a cute, smaller, petite lady. Her ideal mate would be. A five foot six. Um, dark skin, um, software engineer, or IT person, or like a five foot six athlete who has nothing special about him, like nothing unique. Like her husband has a unique, he has unique feature in the sense of it looked like he had lighter eyes. So not everybody's going to have that. So he has a unique feature. He also has a unique feature because he's uh, his stature, because being an NFL player, you got to be built a certain kind of way. So that's another unique feature that every man beside him, not every man is going to have. And so this is what you have to understand with this looks compatibility. So what he's shown in that is he made it true. He reinforced what so many women say is true is that a man cannot handle being a, with a woman who make more money than him. And I think he reinforced that. What he also showed for the people who know me and who watch my videos all the time. He also reinforced what I told y'all about looks compatibility. How the only time people get together when they're not compatible is when there's some other incentives like how much money a person makes. Now, Simone Biles, because of her money, because of her fame, can have any man, can have any man on the face of the planet who just want that cachet. And see, his career is going to be a lot short, shorter than her career. He played football. So unless he way younger. But, you know, Simone and even when she done, she still could do stuff to make a lot of money because her endorsements can last forever, just like Sean Johnson the the white young lady who was a gymnast and she's small like Simone and her, her husband is huge like he she got I think like an NFL husband which probably made Simone want an NFL husband because Sean Johnson I think got an NFL husband and again Sean Johnson with her husband is not necessarily looks compatible either but men can be gold diggers too so if they see a woman brand and they see her status, they'll get beyond her stature, you know, her size and her look. And they'll get to know the woman as a person. And then they see like, man, she's really fun. She's really cool. And they get beyond that. Now, this is a sad truth. Now, this is an unfortunate truth, but they out there in the media. So I got to talk about it because it's in the media and we seeing this imagery. And so a lot of people are, you know, they going off on the guy. But in this situation, financially, Simone is the catch. On looks, 
on Luke's compatibility, he would be the catch because she that's why she got thirsty. That's why she went to like some of his pictures. That's why she wrote him first. Hey, because she knows that's out of her look scale. She knows that typically a guy who has all his features proportionate and is a black man with a lighter colored eyes. He knows that he knows she knows that he can get the five foot six, five foot nine perfectly proportionate body you know breasts bonds you know hips thighs she could be what she could be brown skin dark skin green eyes blue eyes she could be lighter skin she could be white she could be racially ambiguous long flowing hair like natural hair that go to her butt she knows that his type typically is with the complete opposite of her so she say hey he on this app i'm on this app i'm finna shoot my shot and that's what i tell y'all women about shooting your shot when you offer something to a man she offered herself to him then she drove 45 minutes to see him and he made a point to tell us she drove 45 minutes to see him so he is telling her in her face in front of the world that he is the catch she need to run she need to run so i'll be filing for divorce so i'll be filing for divorce if that was my sister if she was my sister my family member a young lady i coach hey sister you might want to think about that divorce either that or he need to come see me for 12 coaching sessions he need to talk to me I need to talk to him about that raggedy mindset. He got a red pill mindset. When he say men is the prize, ain't nobody the prize, for one. But when he say, I always say the men is the prize, that's a red pill mindset. If Simone ain't careful, when, he, when his career is over and he's a bum, like if he don't get to be like Michael Strahan or do like what these guys doing on the, on the podcast he went on, if he don't find a moneymaker, she going to begin choked. That mindset lead to getting choked. So, Simone, if you see this, I'm telling you, that he, he exhibited a major, major, major red flag. And if he and if you watching this and he done, like, made you cry with his words, like stuff he done said to you behind closed doors, you give it another post his career, you give it two, three years, you, you might get choked. You might get choked, you might get body slammed because you is little. You might get body slammed, you might get slapped, you might get pinched, punched. It, it's gonna be, or it just could be very toxic verbal abuse. Because what he did, that is a hundred percent, one hundred percent. You can't you can't do that in front of millions of people and say that, you know, you ain't know who she was. And that the man is always the catch. Like I get it. Like I've I've always I've described too how like my wife made concessions for me, cause I'm five foot ten, when she five eight, so she could be with you know six foot whatever, and how I made concessions for her because what was being promoted was you know, I'm in the South in Florida, big booties. My wife didn't have no big booty, so it was like we both had preferences that we overlooked. Now, as far as Simone is concerned, with this gentleman, other than his personality and his mindset and his attitude, she probably didn't have any other preferences physically. She, because he probably met the height requirement, met the teeth requirement, the complexion requirement. He probably met all her requirements physically. What, what he lacking at is mentally and emotionally. He just a little. He's immature, and. A little ignorant and then and, and the guy on the pivot um on the podcast ryan clark he tried to hold him accountable ryan is you know he's married and, and he's a mature guy so he tried to hold him accountable and he gave him a face like bro get out of here man you know who this woman was like who don't know simone simone biles like buddy it's ants on the ground walking walking by my vehicle that knows simone biles like what are you talking about like what are you talking about and if you didn't know who she was you knew who she was in 0.5 seconds when you googled her name 
and then you had to remember from flipping around on a commercial somewhere it's like come on bro that's disrespectful to that woman and then as a man you're supposed to protect you're supposed to cover for your woman so it's like even if she did do something desperate like she wrote you hey she drove 45 minutes to see you you know she can't you supposed to cover for your woman because you know how that look in society it make a woman look thirsty it make a woman look desperate yeah that's supposed to be a story you take to your grave you don't tell that publicly to millions of people and make her look like that and boy good thing she black because if she was a white woman she would have been red as a beat you hear me she had that little smile and then see, and when she smiled you know uh it, you know she have a little look to her she have a little unique look to her you know just everything and so yeah she was embarrassed she was embarrassed and 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 see the thing is is this what the guys the guys know that on the look scale that she wouldn't be seen as like what america would call gorgeous or like drop dead gorgeous or like stunningly beautiful like she she's a pretty woman cute woman whatever but the men knew that so when they said how did you pull some on bowels for one they phrased it like that because she was sitting there but then two they really was talking that was really a gold digger question it was really like it, it was kind of like how did you get a goat like how did you get which which what they don't realize any man could have got her any man of means could have got her because i doubt her standards as far as looks concerned could be super duper high i mean look at serena williams husband ain't no ain't no women falling out over him and he got serena williams and she's equally as much of a goat as simone biles you know if not bigger than simone biles because people around the world like tennis whereas not everybody care about gymnastics around the world especially american gymnastics because you're gonna just rep for your country but if you like tennis you could be a fan of serena and you on the other side of the world just because you like tennis especially if you ain't got nobody from your country representing in at a high level in tennis so I mean, look at serena williams husband it's, it's not like he he not fit he not muscular you know he ain't got like features that women falling out over and the same thing with him is serena doesn't have the features that men fall out over either you know now she got a, she got that shape on her now that's something that men fall out but you got to remember common was with her and, and and common you know didn't didn't secure the marriage didn't lock it all the way in like i don't know what common was thinking about and I, i'm starting the comments starting to make me wonder about him but he could have went through something as a child like he, he i think he got some childhood trauma because just how he be bouncing from woman to woman and just the women he be dealing with do not be i don't know if he just got a uh something going on with common come give me a call common. you got something going on with you but give me a call but like i say serena williams it's, and see, this is the thing. When you when you get deprogrammed, you can see the beauty. You can see Serena Williams is beautiful. You can see that that's that's what you would call a beautiful black queen, a Nubian queen, a you know a beautiful woman. But her her lips, her nose, you know her physique, none of that is promoted by the movies and the media. So what I'm trying to help y'all understand is, I'm not saying that somebody was like, oh, black people are beautiful, and we all know that. No, we don't all know that. That's what that's what you call self-hate that's why so many black men and black women go into another race that they see as better and superior because they don't love themselves now it's some blacks who go to other races and marry other races organically and authentically but it's a lot who go to another race solely because of self-hate so no we don't all know that black people are beautiful those of us who are deprogrammed and we can look at a person for a person and we could see the beauty through God's eyes, the way God sees it, then we could see the beauty in all shapes, sizes, colors, heights, weights, income levels, and all of that. So this is what you got to understand. What we just found out is that Simone Biles is in a toxic relationship, unfortunately. Toxic doesn't have to be physical. Toxic doesn't have to be draining every day. But she has a man, a husband who has a toxic mentality. And that's a dangerous mentality because if life turns unfavorable for him, it could be very scary for Simone behind closed doors. So to this young man, if you see this, which I'm a Google 
his name so I could put his name in the title so he might see this. Give me a call. I ain't coming for you. I'm just telling you the truth, and you know I'm telling the truth. So I let me. I played football too, and I'm a man, and I done had women, and I done been. I understand it. I let me. You need to change that mindset though, because that's dangerous to tell yourself you the prize and be thinking like that. You looking down on your woman and you know all that, and then putting all your business in the streets is very immature. Don't ever do it again. You need to do a public apology because you publicly humiliated her. You need to publicly apologize as a man, and then you need to stand on that, and you need to admit that you was wrong, realize that you was wrong, realize that you've been listening to punks online, and you need to start listening to grown, married, faithful men who know what it is to be a man and stop listening to these punks you've been listening to, and give them a call. God bless you. We'll talk soon.